Hello and welcome back to Noggin Comics. I'm Kyle. And I'm Nora. And today we're going to be going through a comic haul from um, the Minnesota Toy Posse and a recently opened up comic shop in Minnesota, or reopened I should say, uh, Most Wanted Comics. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to start off with the two books that we, or two comics that we picked up. Well, first off, before I do that, uh, I'm going to show a short of what we got from the toys from the Toy Posse. All right, uh, now... The two comic books that we got from the Tory Posse show outside of that TMNT collection that I picked up <laughs> was JLA and Cyberforce. Uh, now, I don't know why. Nora can't tell you why. <laughs> she hasn't read Cyberforce, but I've been enjoying Cyberforce, Wildcats, like staying away from my <laughs> stuff. Mm -hmm. But. I've been enjoying the 90s team recently. And then Plastic Man, number one, by Kyle Baker. I've loved Kyle Baker's artwork. Uh, Plastic Man is one of my underappreciated favorite uh, characters in DC. Mm -hmm. So, What you got over there, Nora? What else do you have over there? Oh, for you? So just in general. Oh, here, I'll give you your stuff. Okay, so this is my stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. So, as you can tell by that short, and another book that we're going to talk about later on, TMNT has been on my mind recently. And yeah. it could be from the Kyle Bunga Collection game, it could be from Meet and Mayhem coming out, I Need to Buy Shred's Revenge, but TMNT has been on the brain. So, all these comics that we're going to show have been from, from most one of the comics. And this first one is TMNT... 43. I just love the way this presents. This, the colors, the art, how to get it. And later on, probably sometime next week or in two weeks, we have something coming to us. A giveaway that we have coming to us. So, a giveaway coming to us that T is TMNT way this, so keep your eyes for that. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of this is all what, uh, what if and well, besides this one, got a Deadpool one shot game of deaths that I didn't even know existed. That's so funny. <laughs> even you're, you're into Deadpool now, too. Who isn't? A lot of people are. I know. So. Oh my gosh, so much stuff over here. Yeah, we also, we were running out of space. I think we said that once before in the video that we're running out of space. Mm hmm. I have a comics away. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, so. TMNT and X-Men have both been on our brains. So this is a What If collection that I got that's majorly X-Men related. Uh, Nora can show you. I'll be Vanna White. What If Mr. Sinister formed the X-Men? What If 74? Uh, here we go. Uh, what If 62? What If Wolverine Battle Weapon X? Uh, what If 50? Uh, 95, What If, starring Ghost Rider. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a flashback What If, starring Bishop. Oh, it's a cool cover. Which, I'm a huge Bishop fan. We're getting through the X-Men anime series, and we just got done watching the Daisy Feature Past episodes. God, those are good. Yeah. Uh, then What If, 100, starring Gambit. It's just a I cool just cover. love the way that Rogan Gambit look on that. 90s. I say Rogue, yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, What If starring Rogue. Rogue. Oh. One of my faves. Children in the Attic. Uh, What If 46. What If Cable had destroyed the X-Men? Well, shouldn't I realize I need 47 because it's a two-part. Yeah, part one of two. And then, What If the all, What If 23, What If the all new, all different X-Men had never existed? Ooh, homage so, cover. I know some of these issues, like, Nora is not much of a whatnot either. A what if either. Yeah. Oh, and then we got a few more of these, like some miniseries. But I know that you're probably going to read those. 
So I think I got it for both of us, but it's a four-part. I, actually, I forgot that we got. I know. Well, going through this collection earlier, I forgot that we got this. Tomb of Dracula. One, two, three, and four. Put them back to back, because why not? So, like, <laughs> I've always been a Blade fan. Yeah. But you started reading uh, Bloodline? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Daughter of Blade, and we've both been enjoying that. Yep, then we got another four-parter. We got Batman, Gordon of Gotham, part one, and two, and part three, and part four. And then we got another, you know, Gotham-centered book. Uh, Batman, GC, uh, Gotham City Police Department, basically, GCPD. She gets the GCPD, yeah. Yeah, and then... One, two, Harvey Bullock action. Three. And we both love Gotham Central, so we had to get these. Yeah. So, I was like, why not? And then, the last three books are uh, trades, and hard ones to find, we should really say. But difficult ones. I would say hard, just that, you know, we can never find them in comic shops. And this is volume one of Teenage Mutant Ninja Adventures. Uh, they had number two, and I f regret not picking up now. Yeah, I thought, yeah, oh. <laughs> and, see, I just, sometimes the animated style really, I don't know why, like, you know, I have the Kyra Baker Plastic Man over here. Yeah. Um, animation in comic books just seems to work extremely well for me. Yeah, that's well, you. You're like, he's trying to be like, I don't care. Then I got now, that. Now, um, talking about animation, this yes. next book, is a book I never thought you and I would want to pick up. Yeah, and I don't want to get the other three or four. And because the anime series has been so damn good, we had to pick up this trade. Yes. Well, these are these are these are, these are the I can't even speak. These are the trades that they reprinted in smaller format because of Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur TV show. That is so good. If you haven't watched it, please watch it. It's so cute. Uh, music. The music's yeah. phenomenal. This is one through twelve, and I think there's like three others because it went like forty-seven issues. And right before we started reading, right before we started filming, she had to read that. She's like, I'm going to read the first issue. And then I saw this and didn't really realize that I would ever find it because I saw, because I have a bunch of Star Wars Dark Horse books that I'm collecting, and this is the epic for Menace Revealed, and it was like really hard to find, apparently. So I'm like, okay, well, I have the second volume. This is volume one. It takes place between episodes one and two, so... I snagged it. Yeah. I got excited. So, yeah. <laughs> um, most of my comics, uh, we've known them at comic shows. Usually that's when I run into them. Uh, Kevin, Tim, and Kent Tim. Not related. <laughs> um, but, yeah. It's a, a new shop in Bloomington. If you're into back issues mm -hmm. and some really key comics, a comic, we were shocked there. Um, but... Now, talking about, uh, well, so this weekend, uh, we have a signing at our uh, comic shop, our local comic shop, Mind's Eye Comics. Um, local creator, first published work in Legion of Bloom, uh, Ashley Allen will be signing uh, this Saturday the 25th and Sunday 26th from 1 to 3 mm -hmm. at the shop. Uh, if you're in the local area, if you're going to check out Most Wanted, swing on by. Uh, mind's Eye pick up a copy of Legion of Bloom. It's a ten dollar book, right? Mm -hmm. But support a local creator if you're in the Minnesota area. Do you have any last words of wisdom? Um, go watch Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. You uh, won't regret it. Uh, until then, <laughs> see you at the comic shop and have a good night.